Hello and welcome to another episode of One Take Wednesday. If you're new to these, well, I do these every single week. I discuss a hockey-related topic and I do it in a single take, hence the name. No jump cuts, no edits, no nothing, just straight up raw footage for your viewing pleasure. Now, before I begin, I do want to do a little bit of fact-checking here, because last week I said that was my 22nd straight One Take Wednesday video, or 22nd straight week doing them. I was wrong. And I want to publicly apologize for that because that was my 23rd straight. I didn't give myself enough credit. So this is my 24th straight, and that's even better. So that's all I want to do. Now, jumping into it, this episode, I want to discuss hockey elections or the idea of it. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Clay, I come here for hockey. I don't want to talk politics or anything like that. I've had political ads thrown in my face for the last six months. Give me a break. And I want you to calm down because I'm not going to throw politics at you. It's just kind of a name. This is still hockey related. The idea of this video or this episode is it's not going to really have a whole lot of substance to it. I want it to be more of a thought experiment for you to kind of brainstorm. Basically, the idea is what if your favorite team or every NHL team the moves they make, the trades they do, the free agents they sign, the head coaches they fire or hire, or, or the lines the coaches put together. What if every single move went to a fan vote of that team's fan base? What would get done? What things would stay the same? What things would get overturned? Would the team be run any better? Just kind of a thought experiment. I want you to kind of brainstorm on it. Think of things that have currently happened. For me, uh, recently, well, Coach Q got fired. And if that went to a fan vote, I would say he would not have gotten fired. We probably also wouldn't have traded Panarin. And there would probably be some other things, too. We'd probably be over the cap as well. <laughs> but think of that for your own team. Like Ottawa Senators fans. I'm guessing Eric Carlson would still be a senator, right? <laughs> You'd probably also have a new arena in downtown Ottawa, right? Phoenix, Arizona, Coyotes fans probably have a new arena in East Phoenix, right? Things like that. Um, think about lines, power plays, stuff like that. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like I said, I, there's not really going to be a whole lot of substance in this video. I didn't want to take up too much of your time. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea to go and run with on your own, brainstorm, and just kind of have some fun with it. Right, And I'd love to see what you come up with down in the comments section. I'd love to read it. You know, Things that might have changed or won't be the same if your fan base actually had an actual election on the moves that your, your team has made. So please, let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, it's just kind of fun. It's kind of fun to do this whole thing. Kind of take your... Take your mind off uh, some serious stuff and and all the politics and election night and everything and and have a little bit of fun. So let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that as always. But most importantly, stay safe, make good decisions, and I'll see you next time.